I'm Lawrence Gobert, um, qualified as a medical practitioner in 1980 at the University of Pretoria. I then did my internship at Baraguanas for a year. And then in those days I had to do my two years compulsory military service. Eventually went into general practice in Kempton Park. And after the fourth month of grown up men crying and asking me for letters to stay off work, I decided now was the time to go and specialise, which I did do. And I went and did my postgrad degree in obstetrics and gynaecology through the University of Witwatersrand and qualified in 89 as a specialist in obstetrics and gynaecology and went on then in February of 90, uh, 1990 to join up with Dr. Jacobson and Dr. Bernstein in those days. In a practice that was really just in the early days of being exposed to evaluating and treating fertility couples. And when I started in it, it was really only getting off the ground in the country. It was at sort of embryonic stroke grassroots levels and then grew it from there. And as we know in our discipline, at the moment we're on this massive exponential curve upwards. You know, we've, we are developing technology so rapidly for five, six months is, is old, you know, and uh, it's just phenomenal to be in this field, I'm very privileged to be in this field. So my exposure to infertility is from uh, the beginning of 1990 until current. As far as the process went, it went very, very smoothly. And we did on two occasions achieve a specimen. Um, we have noted sperm present in the specimen and we need to do further testing to be able to evaluate where we're going to from here. The uniqueness of our unit is that it's not common to find doctors who are like-minded, who are able to work in a team with each and every one of our end results being the patient's journey. We've come now from pregnancy rates of 5% up to pregnancy rates of 70%. And not only that, our understanding of the embryos and the understanding that a lot of embryos in older women are genetically abnormal and have no potential to implant, we now know that if we can find the normal embryos genetically, our time to pregnancy for those older women is much quicker and then background miscarriage rates are much lower so their take home baby rate is better. You're dealing with patients who have been through immense disappointment. They're angry, they really are. They don't fit into society. Everybody thinks there's something wrong with them. But when you turn it around and you give them a positive result after five or 10 years of trying, and they ultimately take home a baby, you cannot understand the difference that you make to those people. And that for me is just the main reason why every day you get up, you thankful that you're breathing, you're alive, you come to this place and you're able to devote yourself and your energies in this field is just a phenomenal privilege. <music> 